A page fault is a type of exception generated by the processor when a program tries to access a portion of memory that is not currently loaded into physical RAM. In modern operating systems that use virtual memory, that is organized into fixed size blocks called pages, which can be stored either in RAM or on disk. To access data, it must be loaded into RAM. So when a required page is not in RAM, the processor triggers a page fault. This temporarily pauses the running program and invokes a predefined function called an interrupt service routine, or ISR. The ISR performs all necessary steps to locate and retrieve the missing page, load it into RAM, update the page tables, which track every page in the system, and finally, resume the program, allowing it to continue running as if nothing ever happened. There are two types of page faults. Minor, also known as soft page faults, and major, also known as hard page faults. Minor page faults occur when the access data is already in RAM, but hasn't yet been mapped into the virtual memory space of the process. This often happens in cases involving shared memory, such as shared libraries. For example, when a program loads a shared library, it is mapped into the program's virtual memory. However, when other programs access the same library, the data is already in RAM, but not yet mapped into their virtual address space. In this case, the operating system simply maps the existing memory to the requesting process. Minor page faults are typically fast to handle and have little impact on system performance. Major page faults occur when the requested data is not in RAM and must be loaded from disk before the process can continue. This usually happens due to demand paging, where program pages are loaded into RAM only when accessed, or swapping, where pages are temporarily evicted from RAM to a designated area on disk called swap space or swap file. Major page faults take longer to resolve, and if they happen frequently in a short time, they can significantly degrade system performance. If a program tries to access invalid memory, meaning the address isn't mapped in its virtual address space and isn't found in either RAM or on disk, the page fault ISR typically asks the operating system to terminate the offending program with the infamous segmentation fault error. This video is based on my short ebook about virtual memory, where I dive deeper into topics like paging, the memory management unit, how virtual memory translation works, page faults and interrupts, and advanced features like demand paging and swapping, which I briefly mentioned here, and much more. It's written in a beginner-friendly way, packed with fun facts, illustrations, and clear examples. If you liked this video, you'll love the book. The link is in the description below. I'll see you soon.